Benedict, uh, the prime minister, uh, upbeat, uh, down, uh, alarmist. How, how would you how would you just characterize his tone? Probably slightly combative, but um, I think even if his tone wasn't defensive, uh, let's point out that we we had during the national lockdown across the United Kingdom daily briefings. Francois, this was the first government coronavirus briefing since July. Uh, and that has really uh, shocked a lot of people. We get various statements and we get ministers who choose which media outlets they speak to, but there hasn't been a comprehensive government briefing like today. And what was interesting is that the first half an hour of this one hour Downing Street coronavirus briefing uh, was spent 30 minutes on graphs being presented uh, by the chief medical officer, the chief scientific uh, advisor by the prime minister's side. But what's come out of it is very much that there is this real concern of the UK government, even if all four nations that make up the United Kingdom, uh, Northern Ireland, Scotland, Wales and England have had slightly different rules. So the rule you pointed out about six people and the rule of six that the prime minister, the UK prime minister, was just referring to only affects England as of next Monday. But um, there is concern uh, because another 2,659 confirmed COVID-19 cases have been reported, and that's the fourth day of more than 2,000 cases. So although the deaths are, are still low, the infections have risen, and what we need to point out is uh, although this was very much like the height of the pandemic in the spring, of course, there's much more testing going on now. And we heard the prime minister echoing what his health secretary said on uh, Breakfast Radio, Binny Deeks, which is that admitting that, yes, there's been a problem with messaging. Yes, and the prime minister, Boris Johnson, when asked uh, about this, admitted that there has been a confusing picture. He says he is very reluctantly introducing uh, this new rule of six. Uh, and that is why, in order to avoid that much talked about, much feared by everyone here and across the planet, of a second wave and of not just infections, but deaths possibly rising again. What's interesting in the new measures uh, that he has talked about this afternoon is a much stricter enforcement of fines, which is one of the things uh, that has been pointed out. You know, does anybody know anybody who's been fined? Because there have been very few fines. So it is true that in the last few days, uh, that has become more effective. But there's actually going to be the introduction of marshals, uh, COVID marshals, the prime minister said, uh, who will be tasked with helping to ensure the social distancing. The other thing that needs to be pointed out is that although the United Kingdom, uh, the British people were very compliant and surprisingly so, and unlike in France, you didn't have to have fill in a formula, um, show it to anybody if stopped by the police and prove why you were going out, how long you were, none of that here, incredible compliance. But now with the easing of the lockdown, which is costing the economy uh, a fortune and jobs being lost every day, despite measures being taken and announced by the British government to help people, whether it's a furlough scheme, people who are self-employed or other, there is real concern about being told repeatedly after the last few weeks by the Prime Minister and other ministers, including the Health Secretary, Matt Hancock, you're referring to, that you should go back to work. It's almost a shaming into going back to work. The take-up here has been very small, much lower than in France, in Germany and other European countries. And of course, that will have, is having an economic impact. Uh, so it's that balance, getting the balance right. Um, and people are confused because of the four nation differences. Uh, for example, uh, quarantines, if you come back from certain Greek islands, Portugal, France, etc. And the coming and going and the, and the quick implementation. Sometimes they're announced within a few hours and people have to scramble back or try to, to the United Kingdom. So a prime minister saying again and again with that new logo on his lectern, hands, face, space. But will he be heard? Will fines be handed out? Um, and will people, uh, more people, wear masks? So there's a real problem here on public transport across the United Kingdom with people not wanting to wear masks. Now, there are exemptions for people with asthma and 
other conditions. Uh, but the great majority of people are encouraged, invited, and please ask to wear masks. And wearing of masks has proved controversial here in the United Kingdom. All right. Many thanks. Benedict Pavio will continue to monitor this story.